Hey guys and welcome back to the second part of my series on building a work wardrobe. So today I want to talk about another three pieces and I'm going to get started with the slim fit trouser and I feel like this is a really great way to make yourself look very smart. It's a little bit masculine kind of but I think it's one of those really essential pieces and there is a trouser out there for everyone. I know it took me a while to find my perfect pair. Now the pair I want to share with you guys today is from Forever New. So these are relatively inexpensive, they're around the $90 mark and I have found that these have just been incredibly flattering on me. They're just a slim fit trouser cut like that and they cut just above the ankle which I think is probably the best length to have them at. Anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of the ways that I like to style these for corporate and creative offices so keep watching. It took me a long time to find the perfect pair of slim fitting trousers but once I did I was completely hooked. My favorite way of wearing it is with a white shirt, a blazer and a great pair of heels. I just think it looks so classic and it's kind of that perfect mix of feminine meets masculine. Keeping it a little more relaxed and a little bit more casual for the creative industry, I think a great jumper and a pair of cute heels is the way to go. Alright, so moving on to our next piece, and this is probably one of my favorites. I wear it all the time, particularly now that it is winter, and that is the fitted sweater. This one that I've got here is from Kate Sylvester, and this is actually a turtleneck or mock neck style top, and I find that this is great because it ends up looking very, very pulled together. I mean, it's almost got that sort of Steve Jobs kind of vibe about it, but I love it, and I just feel like it's really flattering, and it's such an easy way to put together a couple of looks. So I'm just going to jump into it and show you guys how I like to wear this. When it comes to a corporate office, I think the best way to wear a fitted sweater is with a simple pencil skirt or A-line skirt and a nice pair of heels. However, I think it also looks great with a pair of trousers as well if that's the way you want to go. For a creative office, I love the quirkiness of wearing it underneath a black lace dress with a really fun pair of shoes. I think you've definitely got a lot more creative freedom when it comes to your wardrobe and how you want to approach your work style. So as you can see, this really helps pull together an outfit and I also find it's a great layering piece, particularly if you are working in those more casual environments. And the last piece I want to share with you guys is a pair of black heels and I feel like you definitely need them regardless of whether you're working in a corporate or creative environment. And for me, I love these Valentino ones for a more casual environment. Otherwise, I've got a higher pointed toe pair, which I like to wear, which are a little bit more corporate and also work well for the evening as well. So I'm going to show you a couple of the looks and the ways that I would wear them. A great pair of heels is a must regardless of whether you work in a corporate or creative industry, but when it comes to corporate offices, I find that a higher heel with a really sleek design is the way to go. It looks so much more pulled together and it really makes any outfit look on point. In a creative office, you can have a little bit more fun, and for me, it's all about the heel. I love the mirrored heel on these Max Mara pumps. I just think it's really cute, and it always just adds a layer of elegance to any outfit that I'm wearing. Pretty self-explanatory, I know, but I do feel that these are such a quintessential piece and a great item to purchase when you are just building your work wardrobe. So those are all the pieces I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. Do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my next two videos in this series. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.